Hello everybody, Man's Farm Man, and welcome to a, a new thing we're going to be doing. Um, I keep saying all these new bloody things that we're going to be doing, but... Um, yeah, okay, so the story is, I broke Spring Hill. I'm not too sure how I broke it, but I was doing something in the editor with it, and killed it. So, uh, I didn't make a backup, so I've had to delete it. So, and then, uh, when I was deleting in all this stuff... Uh, version 3 of Cobra came out which is Seasons Mod Ready so I thought, do you know what we'll just play this because we can play this for a bit and then see what we want to do um, so of course we've got Seasons Mod installed um, I've gone out and sold all the old equipment and done a fair bit already so we've got a New Holland T7 200, 270 sorry. we also have a, a big Class Lexion uh, this is the biggest one in the fleet it's quite a big girl, 780, with the biggest header. Now you may notice I've ploughed this field, that field, field 9 is left to do, field 2 and field 4. We've literally just got to go plough field 5. I'm going to do field 9 another day. Well, probably off screen because it takes so bloody long. Now let me just turn my game volume up a bit. because See, so yeah, I broke Spring Hill. I'm currently working on another Spring Hill though. Um, I managed to find an edit that someone had released for FS15. So I decided to import that over because I wanted to see how well that would look. So I'm kind of in the middle of doing that. But I'm doing it properly. I've put it on a different blank starter map. So it should have a working PDA and all sorts. I keep saying I'm going to do it properly, but you know. Uh, we have a Limken, Le a Lemken, Lemken, uh, Cedar. I keep saying, I call them Lincoln for some reason, but the Lemken. Uh, Cedar, 10 metre. Uh, in game one of course so if we run over here we should have a few other trailers we've got a joss skin um, double axle trailer this is the biggest one that they did as our grain trailer we also have the 7530 John Deere here with the Michelin tires on and oh yes we have two two power harrows here these are the EMY Power harrows are only about four meters each. I call them, I'm going to call them power harrows. They're probably something different because I, I know there's quite a few different ones you can get, and some of them are like not power harrows and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a, a good let's play. I reckon this is. Um, I know I know everyone loves Spring Hill. I love Spring Hill, but I broke it and I didn't make a backup, so I fucked it. And um, yeah, it is now forever lost. Now there's a case down here, I'm going to walk over here. So we ploughed the fields, of course I did a really terrible job of ploughing fields, because I do a really terrible job at everything. So field 9 is the last one to do, and it's really big, so I'm going to do that off screen. Of course we've got 296,000 left. We're not going to be spending any of that, because Seasons mod is a bit weird in the way that vehicle maintenance and all that is quite high. So when we fast forward time to skip days and stuff, we want a good chunk of money left, because of the equipment we've got. Um, so uh, we need to just sort of keep up well we need to keep that clear so we've got enough uh, we've got enough money left over uh, to like you know get us through the year well get us through the, at least to the season um, but we're not going to be fast forwarding time too much I might just I may, I might just like skip the time if, if worse comes to worse, I will get some equipment, but we've got the basic to start with. I haven't gone and bought any cow stuff yet or anything, but I might do. So we've got the case, uh, Puma 230CVX, which is in the multiplayer save game, um, with its straight pipe sound and all that, and we've got the big plow on the back of it, so... Um, it's the nice one with the really nice sounds on it. But I think we need to fold that. No. Turn it over and we fold it. Now I've got a few new mods at this time. So, I'll show you the new mods. So you may notice that T7 looked a bit weird. It, it's the new style one. Uh, we've got it in... So we might be getting this 6R series, this one here, to replace the other one. But these are the new... This is the New Holland pack, the really big one that was available for... 13, no, 15, sorry, which has been converted over. I think it's version 1. But as you can see, you can get different things of it. So these are the newer styles. I think these are the newer styles with the middle, like, grill bit. And these are the older ones that have the really small grill bits. I'm not too sure. But we've got the new one on T7, this one here. 
Of course, we've got the T dubs in. We've got the Massey pack in just in case we needed a transfer. We are going to be getting a Fiat 11090 as well to go down the cows. And we're going to get a T5 loader tractor. I'm just trying to see if I've got any other mods in that I need to show you. Because you start adding mods in, then I forget which ones I've actually added. And it's nice to show everybody what mods we have actually got in. Oh, yeah, I put the JF in as well because we haven't actually used that, so we might get that. And there's not much in there. Nothing in potato harvest, nothing in beets, what's in trailers, uh, crook, silage trailer, we might get one of them. And our modding stuff, bear, 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 bear. Uh, loading wagons, plows, we haven't got that many modded ones in. As you can see, I'm, I'm just rushing through to make sure. I'm just trying to see, it. oh yes, these are released, a Ransom's Disc 9, they're released, they're pretty good, they are. I haven't actually tried them yet, but they look pretty good. Spraying kit, we might get the spraying, the sprayers, stuff like that, and not actually just a fertilized thing. There's a fly coming in the room. I've got my windows open. It's about 20 something degrees. Now, Kieran very kindly sent me this over. This is the Abbey uh, P9900 muck spreader, which is reskinned to a West. Um, I know quite a few people have reskinned it to a West, but thank you, Kieran, because Kieran sent it me, and he's a very good friend. And he's carrying his life. Um, we've also got a few other mowers in. So we've got the Keveland 428 with the uh, auto swap on. Again, Kieran, thank you. That mod will not be given out, so do not worry, whoever, because I did. He did tell me not to give it out, and it shall not be going anywhere else. Um, We've got a few other bits of bobs. Of course, case, baler there, small square baler. We might do some small squares. Uh, we've got the John near 24T. Don't know why I've got that in. We haven't got any chainsaws. We don't do any forestry. Uh, yes, we have the 4530S. No, the 4335S loading wagon, which is in the multiplayer game as well. We have the Welderman, Welderman uh, 1502 with DR. Very, very small loader. Very, very good as well. It's just good for little narrow yards, which Cobra hasn't got, but it's just in here just in case I needed something to start with. Uh, Richard Weston Animal Trailers. These are released as well, but... Uh, so this one takes cows, and that one won't. So, right. don't think I've got much else in here. Of course, another set of Silas Trailers, Donleys, and another Donley. A uh, couple of few other things. Head of trailers. Oh, this is probably boring you, so let's actually do something. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I'd shown you everything in the shop before we started with, so we knew what was there. Now, this tractor you can see is nearly on three hours. Um, because, you know, it's nearly on three hours because it's been doing the plowing, it's going to be on the plow for a fair bit. Now, I may sell the 7530 and get the 6R. Well, let's go to field five. Now this thing actually is an absolute beaut to drive because it grunts like anything and it's nice. My, my steering wheel has not synced up but I'm not stopping this recording just, just for that. Right, so there's the field that we need to get to. I'll open a nice little gate. Then we're going to get the power harrows out. We're going to put one on the John Deere and one on the New Holland and set them in different fields. I'm going to set one in one field and one in the other and I'm going to plow field nine. I'm going to do that off screen though. Because nobody wants to see it on screen. Now it's had a couple of changes. Of course it's season mod ready now. And these hedges are really nice as well. Now I might be wrong. But I don't know if these hedges are cuttable. Um, they're probably not. But whatever. They just look nice. Now of course we've got the realistic beacons on. Oh, I've just crashed. Right now. Joseph has been whinging at me that I plough fields wrong because I plough headlands first because I'm so used to putting them on course play courses that you, well, putting them on hide work, sorry, you want to plough the headlands first. Um, so we're going to plough them without doing the headlands first. Because apparently you finish the headlands when you get the cedar in the fields, but we're not going to wait that long. We will get them ploughed. Now don't ask me why, when I use Seasons mod, I like ploughing. I actually use the plows. It doesn't make any difference in the way that season mod works. Um, it still does. It still works the same. That's 
a nice screenshot. Hey, that's a nice screenshot, boyos. Let's just take that. That's a lovely little thumbnail done. Right, so you're probably all going to get really bored of this, but uh, yeah, so sorry about Spring Hill. I could, I'm going to probably do it again. Um, Senin Valley, we found a few little bugs on. Also, Senin Valley will be redone again. Um, I know I haven't recorded anything on there, but we'll probably record a bit tonight on it. Um, the reason I haven't been on, we've been on it, we've actually been on the map, but we haven't done anything is because we've been finding a few little bugs here and there, and you know, I wanted to iron them out, which I have done in a different version of the map, which is still on my desktop. Um, but I thought I better get a video done. I was actually going to do this this morning before I went to college, but my voice was all croaky and horrible to listen to, so I, <laughs> I decided against that idea. Um, so yeah, we'll get the power harrows out onto the fields at some point. Oh, hello tree. this because this plow is a w little bit long for this very small field this thing's got MB track sounds if you're wondering that's why it sounds so grunty or so muscular or whatever you want to call it but it is a it is a really nice sound file to put on stuff it, uh, it done half uh, improve the sound well it's a different sound in it so it doesn't really matter if we miss bits. So yeah, we don't want too many tractors yet. Um, for first of all, what we might do is only get the T5 down at the cow yard with the loader, and we'll get the cows all bought and everything with the money we've got, and we'll get the. We probably won't get a straw blower. We'll just get a feeding wagon. But we won't do anything like that until we've actually got a crop in the ground. Now, we're not going to put a crop in the ground till Wednesday. Because if we look oh no, on here, you can see that this is in white and these are all in blue. And of course, the ground temperature is not the right temperature for barley. Um, because it's only 4 degrees today and it wants to be 5 at least. So barley won't actually grow in this condition. Um, from what I'm, I'm picking up bits and bits with Seasons Mod, um, and that was one of the bits I picked up, was you need to make sure, and it'll suddenly go white, and when it's gone white, that's the best time to plant. So, I may put the game time on a bit quicker whilst I'm playing Field 9, and let it go through to, through field, uh, through the next day as well, and, uh, you know, get us onto field, or get us onto Wednesday, which is the only day we can really plant because it's actually going to start raining the day after. So we need to get Wednesday here and get it planted. Now you can actually skip through the night. If you press Alt something, I think it's Alt A, you can skip through the night and get it all over and done with quicker. This tractor wants to wash ready. Um, but yeah, we may just put the T5 down at the cow yard for now and then we'll uh, put um, other equipment down there as and when. Yeah. Oh, come on. Now, what we're going to do is Senin Valley. We've kind of decided that if we play it, we're going to play Senin Valley for a bit longer, until about episode 20. I think this may change this is the thing that we were discussing last night we may change that we we're, we're going to play Sun Valley till episode 20 and then we were going to change maps for a bit like go on to a different one just whilst me and Joe or well, probably preferably me uh, spend a good few weeks or whatever actually ironing out the kinks with Sun Valley and trying to get it because I I was never really happy with it, but I, I liked it because it was just playable, but it's like, well it just looks lazy, doesn't it, so I thought. So I've been thinking, we might as well at least get it playable and get all the, iron all the kinks out and try and get all the fields put in and, you know, really try and improve the map so it's actually worth watching because, alright, it's nice to watch and that, but let's face it, when it breaks and when there's little bugs everywhere, it looks a bit odd, so it's like, well why, you know. Spend all that time converting it, I might as well just finish it off. 
I had quite a few maps on the go when that was actually started, that's why it never got properly finished. Um, so now we're going to properly finish it. If I had fast enough internet, I would. I, I would do a couple of days work and then probably send it to Joe for do to do a couple of days work. Yeah. To do a couple of days work on it, but, you know, my internet's just not fast enough. And uh, congratulations to Nick Sharp, who probably watches my videos still, yeah, hopefully he does, who uh, hit 1,000 subscribers the other day, so congratulations. Because I remember when he was on, I think we and him started to play together before he even hit 100, so we've been, you know, it's been ages. <laughs> um, but yeah, congratulations to Nick. I know you hit it a couple of days ago, mate, but I, well, I haven't really had time to make a video, so I thought i will just pop it in there. Um... So yeah, we'll be doing this on this map uh, for however long it takes. I may keep this, I may do the Spring Hill and not actually make it into a Let's Play series. I might just play it on my own, or I may do. Um, but I really want to test that map thorough. Um, but, uh, so yeah, uh, Cold Park Farm, here we are again. We got to episode whatever it was, 16 last time, wasn't it? And we did those small square bales, and I never stacked them, and accidentally deleted the save game, so we'll never be going back. <laughs> oh, I don't know why anybody watches my videos. I feel, uh, it feels odd whenever I start a Let's Play and then stop it midway through, or just stop for no reason, because it feels like, well, everyone's waiting for this video, and I've broke the map, but I, have, I haven't been able to actually record a video. So I thought, I'll do this Cobble one. And this Cobble one is nice, the version 3 is nice, it has a really nice sky texture in, uh, a new sky texture put in. So it is, uh, it is nice. And that, and uh, it is worth, definitely worth a download, so that's what I gave it, a download. And fell in love with it, again. Now this straight pipe could do with just going back that fraction bit more. On the bottom, but it might not have gone that. It, it may not have put it back because the it might have hit the light. Now this isn't a public mod. This is actually a private case that someone did, um, and Dan wanted it in our let's play multiplayer let's play. So that's why I've got my hands on it. Um, but it, yes, it is a private private edit, so I can't give it out. Everything else I'm running at this moment in time is not private. Like the map's not private, the New Holland's aren't private. Oh, I'm just gonna reverse. The New Holland's aren't private, the um, Combine's not private, Cedar's in game, the Colt, the Power, the power Harrows aren't private, the Plow's not private. There's only one or two mods that actually are. The, 30, the 57. 7530, well, they called it 57 for no reason. 7530 is not private as well, that's released. 6R is released. There's quite a few mods that I've actually running that are released, but everyone just wants the private ones, because why not? Um, so yeah, we'll plow this field up, and then that'll probably do for this first video, because, you know, it's only a first look, really. And then I'll get episode... I'll do field 9 off screen, and like I said, I'll, uh, I'll fast forward time a bit, so... What's it? But if I'll fast forward time to the next day, and then what I'll do is uh, I'll put the power harrows out in either field. And I've, I've re recorded a couple of cosplay courses in the bigger ones so field seven and two. Field eight needs one doing, and I'll do one for field nine. I don't mind doing these smaller fields, but the bigger ones just take so much time that I have not got at the moment, you know, to do stuff off camera. I have now because I've come back from college a bit earlier. It's well, it's just gone four o'clock. I came back, well, I would have been back for about half past... No. Yeah, I would have been back for about three o'clock. But I had to go pick some stuff up, so I thought, you know, I lost a bit of time there. Round we go. So, yeah. God, this thing's so powerful. Such a nice case as well. Uh, I did have a fent on this map, and then I changed my mind and wanted a T7. Right, we're going to do the Edwins now, because just to wind everybody up. It doesn't even wind everybody up, it's just 
Joe gets a little bit annoyed and it's funny. Um, I'm doing this wrong as well. Should have the plow over there. Right. Let's wait. Let's turn this over. Let's let's get this out because I was finishing that row off, of course. So the fields that we own are around this yard. We own field 22 as well, which is uh, by the cows, and we own field 23. So we've got two two grass fields we can harvest. We've got eight, nine, ten. So we have six arable and two grass, so we're okay at the moment um, for stuff, you know, like, uh, well, we're okay for a harvest anyway. Because this map, this map is probably one of the better maps to have Seasons Mod on, be purely because of its size. Um, like, when you're on Kendall and stuff, it's like, well, in day one, you can plough all the fields and get them all cultivated in day one. It does not take a long. Whereas we're at 12 o'clock. Of course, we're still on day one, but we're at 12 o'clock and I've only just finished the second to last field. I probably could have put the powers on, ha ugh, power harrows on this episode, but I wanted to do something off screen as well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep the multiplayer play going and we'll have to discuss more of what we're actually going to do with it because I like the map. I really do like the map and everyone else is loving it, but I would like to finish it and get it definitely finished. Not just a half arse effort that I kind of did just to get it playable. And to be honest, I'm pretty proud of it because it was the first map I actually converted and the amount of views it gets every time we upload a video is insane and I want to thank everybody so much. Because it's so it's so nice to see, you know, people asking about it, and uh, and I like to see that you're all helping all my friends out. They all keep saying, "Oh, we've made like 20 sub sub subs here and 20 20 subs there." And it's quite nice to see everyone just helping each other. So, so thank you. Um, of course, they only Tom really uploads videos still but he's more restoration of like machinery and stuff like that uh, he does power well what's he doing now he's doing a walk behind like rotivator single single row rotivator single to the petrol uh, he's kind of doing bits and drabs on that so if you if you're into that then you can check his channel his channels are in are always in the descriptions they're all in the description right so that's that field finished So I'll get this stuff ready for, you know, me a bit of time off screen, which I'm going to do whilst I wait for everyone to come online, and crash. I saw that come in. That wheel would be non-existent right now. But, uh, yeah, so thank you everybody, uh, well, I'll do the, I'll do the outro here, so... Right, so thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today. Um, add me on Snapchat. Like me on Facebook. Uh, add me on Discord if you really want to. And also, you can add me on Instagram right now. Um, I've only put my Instagram name, so you have to search me because for some reason I couldn't sign in on my PC. It wouldn't let me. I have no idea why. I was probably typing the wrong thing in. So I thought if I just put the name of what it is, um, it's not Farming Man 19, it's something else. So just just look for the name and add me that way um, and yeah I'll always give you a follow back as well probably well yeah I will definitely give you a follow back I say probably as if what's it? if I don't do it straight away then I'll do it you know when I get chance but uh, thank you everybody well actually happy farming and goodbye